Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. I am here just checking in behind the scenes, seeing what's up with your person, right? The one on your mind. Um, this reading is for the collective, so it may not resonate with all of you, okay? Just take what does resonate, leave the rest behind, right? Don't try to force it. And thank you so much, everyone, for everything, like for real. Thank you for the likes. All of my subscribers, a huge thank you, because this is like a family to me out here. So thank you for joining the family, right? Um, thank you, everyone. I truly, truly do appreciate all of your support. I, I really do mean that. All right, Divine, what do you have for my beautiful collective today? Messages for the collective. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, man. Okay. Um, what I'm seeing is this person, they have a, they were stuck in a decision to make between two people. I feel it, it one was you and one was this Queen of Swords energy. Okay. I'm getting the sense that this Queen of Swords energy, um, this person may be committed to them. This is usually the one that somebody is committed to, but I'm sensing that this is your energy with the Queen of Pentacles, and you're doing very well financially, very financially abundant here. And whoever they're with is kind of like harsh, cutting. You know, the Queen of Swords energy, this is somebody, I feel like she did love your person at one point. Um, I really do because, you know, she feels very betrayed. She wants the truth. Um, she may even want to come towards you and talk to you collective. Okay. She may be threatening this person to do that. And I see them standing in the middle, like standing in the middle between the two, right? I'm getting the sense that this person is keeping their back turned towards you so that they can protect you from this queen of swords. That's kind of the feeling that I'm picking up on. Meanwhile, this person's in a lot of regret, a lot of sorrow. This is somebody who's like suffer, suffering, suffering a huge loss here. Okay. Um, possibly ashamed and embarrassed, but I'm just, for some reason, I'm getting the sense that this person is standing in between you two so that this Queen of Swords doesn't come towards you. And in the meantime, um, they either want to offer you a cup of love or I feel like you're getting a new offer from somebody new. You're closing out this cycle. <coughs> you know, with the Wheel of Fortune, the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor here. Um, you're very successful. If you've been putting in a lot of work, like extra hours at work or you may have started a creative project that's about to start like booming here okay it's really going to take off for you in the next month i don't know i'm just picking up on a month right maybe the rest of this month yeah this person is sick over this man having a lot of anxiety have uh sleepless nights can't stop thinking about this really stressed out they're afraid that this queen of swords is going to come towards you and with something to say maybe this person is trying to hide something here yeah they they don't want to be there anymore they're t kind of wanting to turn their back on this queen of swords and come towards you they're, they're finding out that you have a, um, a new beginning in love or you're about to. They're finding this out. It's like being exposed. You're in this earth angel energy. This person may even be wanting you to just be patient, but you've been patient enough. What else can you show me about this person crying in bed? <laughs> What's going on with this person crying? Um, you could be dealing with a Virgo energy, maybe a Sagittarius. You could be a Sagittarius or a Leo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, heavy on Virgo. Um, 
Your person could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Yeah, this person. They know they're about to miss out on a blessing if they don't get their butt in there and apologize, okay? Yeah, apologize for playing you in the past. This person had in and out energy. They weren't serious. Um, they, uh, they acted impulsively, right? Came towards you, used this wand, left as quickly as they came in, you know? And it's like, yeah, they, they totally played you here. But when they played you, Collective, they played themselves, actually, because they're watching you now possibly be approached by new love here. And you're the one that they want to settle down with. Like, they would see you as, as wifey, okay? But the person that they're currently with, number one, is harsh, cold, rude, nasty, threatening. I feel like this, this karmic is threatening to come and talk to you here. And this person, they're, um, they're livid. They're, they're so stressed out about that, okay? They're kind of shaking over it maybe a little bit. Um, really worried, really tense. They walk around on eggshells every day. They're so tense about it. But I feel like still they stand in between you guys, kind of protecting you. They know whoever they chose over you there was no love in that situation. Yeah, and they know if they don't apologize to you um, and try to make this right, they're going to miss this opportunity, okay? They're really upset. They don't want to be around this Queen of Swords energy. This person just wants to kind of, they feel like separating themselves altogether. They don't, it's like they don't want to talk to them. They, and this Queen of Swords isn't leaving, leaving them alone either. I feel like they try to fight with your person about you every day, okay? I don't even think they like being home. They're in love with you, though. This, You could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. They're in love with you. And they're realizing that here. And they don't want to let you go. Yeah, they're doing a lot of fighting in the background. I just saw the Five of Wands. There's a lot of fighting in this home situation about you. And, and it's like the more they fight, the more your person wants to protect you, okay? Um, but the more they protect you, the more angry this Queen of Swords gets. So the more they fight. It's a vicious cycle that this person is in. Um... I feel like they know they're going to have to they're going to have to say something to this queen of swords. I I'm getting the sense that this person is about ready to tell them the truth. They they have wish fulfillment somewhere else. Yes, this is this is what they're going to do. They're going to talk to this queen of swords energy and tell them the truth. They're wishing for this earth angel here, this empress in the minor arcana. That's what they want. Oh, man. Yep, and they're, they want to take some action, um, at least to apologize and bring justice to the situation because they know you didn't deserve the treatment you got, okay? Yeah, their home situation is nothing but fighting over you and threats that this Queen of Swords is going to come talk to you or tell you something, maybe secrets about your person. This wanted to come out in reverse. Page of Wands energy in reverse. Clarify that. It's very, very immature energy. Somebody could have even gotten, oh, somebody could have gotten an STD. Oh. So maybe that's the secret that this Queen of Swords wants to talk about. Well, that's great. You know, somebody shows up at your door and says, Hey, your ex got an STD. Just wanted you to know. I mean, you know. Yeah, clarify this Page of Pentacles. 
Yeah, man, they did. That's bad health. I feel like this person got an STD. They may, you know, this Queen of Swords, she's really harsh. And she just wants to ruin this connection. She may be telling this person, either you tell the either you tell the collective that you have an STD or I will. That's kind of what this is. Oh man. And so this person's stuck between a rock and a hard place, yeah. Honestly, I you know why they're showing up on your door bringing this drama to your doorstep You're over here with like no time to spare, right? You seriously, you're such a hard worker and Whatever it is that you're you're growing and creating here. You've got great responsibility So like it's not like you've got a lot of free time You know, I feel like you're very, very busy, and all of a sudden these people are going to show up at your door talking about an STD. Um, this could also be like gossip, but I, I feel like coming here right underneath bad health, yeah, and the truth, and yeah, and this, is a, this would be something that the Queen of Swords would threaten to tell people about, okay? And I feel like that's what they're doing. They're telling this person, either you go tell the collective or I will. Because she wants this person to feel humiliated. She wants this person to, you know, come to you and tell you that, you know, they've got an STD and they're not worthy of you. Something like that, right? Yeah. And I feel like she's just kind of torturing this person at this point. Or she could be threatening them. If you go anywhere, I'm going to tell the secret. You know, one way or another. I feel like, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting the sense that they want to come to your home. Um, and I don't know. I don't know. I, you know, if your person comes forward, they may have to tell you about this health issue. Um, but they're going to tell you that they want this new beginning with you. Yeah, see, here's the thing. They and they're going to feel they're going to tell you they feel like a complete idiot because they turned down the 10 of cups and the 10 of pentacles. They they're going to tell you they feel like a fool. They they want to take a leap of faith, but the 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 problem is is they're still with this queen of swords. They may tell you that they've been trying to protect you as well. Maybe they'll tell you not to believe the lies. I had the lying card on the bottom of the deck. I feel like this person is going to come towards you and they're going to kind of secretly tell you. They're, they don't want this Queen of Swords to know, but they're going to tell you, they, hey, I want this with you. I'll be back, right? <laughs> I want everything with you. I'll be back. I'll be back for that. No, 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 no. What the crap? Clarify this. Clarify this Three of Cups. Why is the Three of Cups out here? I just don't see this person being able to stick around. Um, because they're, they're currently with somebody else. That's just really harsh, okay? Yeah, see, I don't... Oh, if this person has an STD collective, man, I'm telling you, they may show up to have some passion with you here. I hope they're not coming in to like give you some kind of health issue just to keep you stuck. Because this person really, they it's almost like they want to come in and share passion with you here. Look, with the Ace of Wands, but they're going to they're gonna leave right away. I'll be back though. I'll be back later. And they go right back to this Queen of Swords where they hate feeling heartbroken and alone. Yeah, I don't like that energy at all, okay? I'm getting the sense that somebody here has an STD and they want to come and use this wand on you. Yeah, see, here's the thing. That's what's going on, and I feel like the divine, and this is bad health as well. 
I kind of get the sense that at this point, the divine intervenes. To me, this feels like spiritual prison here. Because this is what they're really planning on doing, is coming in and saying, um, <laughs> let's just play with this wand for a little bit. Gotta go. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Yeah, if they try this, they're going to be absolutely defeated, man. They are going to be, I feel like they're going to lose a lot here. Choosing a toxic way to do things with the devil coming out to a star. Yeah, this person is being warned, man. Back off the light worker. You don't get to do that to our star. You're in light worker, empath, energy here, very spiritual a leader, a guide, living peacefully. You're just doing your own thing, okay? And this person is in a commitment with somebody else, this Queen of Swords. They got no business coming towards you with in and out energy, giving you an STD. Uh, the divine is like, sorry, but this isn't going to fly. This isn't, this isn't going to work for you. You're done. You, you go through with this plan and do this to an earth angel, um, a, a light worker, and we are bringing you down. And I mean all the way down. This person will be absolutely defeated if they do this. They haven't broken free from a prior commitment yet. Okay? They're coming in doing something that's going to get you all messed up, right? This is you face planted in all of these burdens while they regain control of the boat, telling you, I'll be right back, right? And you're a high priestess and an empress. They may even want to try to get you pregnant for someone here. This could very well be your, uh, your twin flame doesn't have to be though yeah if they if they plan on doing this i'm telling you this person's gonna get um, put in spiritual prison if not I, I feel like it's divine intervention that may actually get them put in jail um they'll be defeated immediately here so yeah i feel like this is a warning from the divine yeah and you know maybe for you too um if this if you think this is your person I, I feel like you're already not speaking to them you're already in the process of blocking them out so i don't even need to say that yeah because here they come that you you may get some phone calls from this person text messages something or just messages letting them letting you know that they're coming forward okay um, you may be able to feel this energy and you're automatically like protecting yourself here. Um, yeah, this person's just get ready. There's communication coming in. Maybe um, I'm just kind of hoping it's just a text message or a phone call because this person, I feel like they they're kind of thinking about coming in and just using that wand and saying, see you later. OK. See you later, alligator. I got to go back home to the to the Queen of Swords, right? Yeah, the divine is protecting you. You have divine protection. I maybe this person will be able to contact you over the phone, text message, but I don't think they're going to be able to come anywhere close to you. Okay? So, yeah, this is divine protection. For a spiritual being here, Queen of Cups energy, you could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, maybe Gemini. I've got Aquarius out here as well. Your person could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn maybe. Yeah, you are protected. This person, they can contact you from afar, but they can't touch you. Yeah. The divine doesn't want you touching that with a 10-foot pole. And, um, yeah, you, um, you, this may be exposed to uh, this queen of swords. Like I said, she's threatening to tell the secret, probably not just to you, but to a community of people, um, just to humiliate this masculine. 
And so, yeah, you this may actually be something that you could hear about um, around your community through gossip or rumors. So, yeah, get ready for this person to approach because, honestly, I, I'm going to get your advice because I, I feel like... Um, they're not really approaching you. I don't think the divine is going to let that happen. I, I'm going to get. I'm going to keep it a buck. I, they may be talking to you though. Be on the lookout for that. Text messages, phone calls. You may already have them blocked here. I feel like some of you have been waiting for this person to show up. Okay. Um, and you've been asking, you know, why? Why didn't they get their act together? Why? Why? Um, honestly, I feel like you've given up on the questions here. The divine may have shown you all you need to see. And you've been spending a lot of time on yourself and energy on yourself, doing your healing, your cleansings, okay? Staying prayed up, talking to the divine about this. I feel like they've shown you everything. Um, everything you need to see to move forward. You're releasing this here. You know it's time to go. And you're ready to start a new phase in your life here. You're in receiving mode. Held in high regard on a pedestal because the divine. Um, and that's another thing. Justice comes out. Because um, the divine has seen all of your efforts, right? They put you on a pedestal. And I feel like, um, yeah, you already have justice here. You may already feel like you've got your justice because you've healed. You've healed. You're over this. You're not feeling heartbroken anymore. You're feeling free from this energy here. And just as that happens, listen, a message comes through from your person wanting to, wanting to get some peace, right? wanting to extend it, that olive branch, giving you something to think about. This could be you all up in your head, okay? Feel like you need to be patient with yourself here, and you need to be flexible, meaning, you know, maybe you were leaning one way towards someone from your past, but now you're starting to open up your heart and your direction towards a new soulmate connection, and that's this. You could even be led to a whole new location. So um, pay close attention, too, to the messages you get from the divine at this time. They may be leading you someplace new in order to bring you to a new soulmate. I feel like they want you to change directions here. They want you to switch focus, maybe away from this person in your past and on to a new soulmate in the future, okay? I feel like this, this message or phone call that you're about to get from this person in your past, it may get you all up in your head, but the divine wants you to switch focus. Do you see how you're focusing on something in your past? And they want you to switch focus to, to your future. Okay, do you see that? I hope you do. Because we've got two tens here. It's an end to this cycle, my darlings. Just um, look forward, right, into your future. You're being taken, swept away, swept away to a new soulmate, maybe swept off your feet by a new soulmate. So get ready for that, okay? Anyway, collective, that's what I have for this reading. Um, I hope this helps. If you like this video, please hit that like button, right? Subscribe to my channel if you like this vibe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.